All right, let's listen to this. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Okay, no, Somehow, we're done. He managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay, we're finding more stuff. So we're just going to keep playing it. I don't know if this will be a two-parter. It is odd, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the new materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in that auditorium, that we should both be here now. And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. That's kind of cool that they saved all the art. Let's keep looking. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> okay, I can understand that. Is this something I can get into? Because it looks like... Almost I could get into it because I'm there's got to be a way to find those stuff for the power So I'll keep going. I'll see you folks when I figure it out Okay, I'm gonna just turn them the way they're supposed to go see if that helps I Think I had it wrong. I think these need to go the regular way. It's the other ones that are reversed Sit down no, it's Right. Okay, we'll get that fixed. Done. I should check the door nearby. Oh, excellent. That worked out really well. So that must be how we get up. Alright, let's check the door. Is this it? Is this the door I need to go through? Hell yeah. Alright, so we've got to find a new emitter. H emitter. I'm assuming I have to go up the ladder. Oh, this is how I get up above. I see. I see what we're doing. Let's go across. Let's get the supply crate. Excellent. But that's not what I needed. Oh, damn. I thought this is where I needed to go. It's all lies. I see. We need to go here. Pick it up. Looks intact. So, I think this is what's going to need to be on the... Install it? 
And I think I'm gonna need to reverse this. Trick. Now let's get that door open. Or no, I'll just follow the, I'll follow the code, see what it says. Okay, that'll be left. Down, right, up. There we go. Wait. I'm suspecting that is not correct. It is reversed. That did it. Door there we go, finally. Now to see what lies beyond it. Alright, so we did it. That was kind of a pain in the ass. Hopefully I cut all this out so you guys don't have to put up with it. Oh, Jesus. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. All right. Let's first of all reload all these arrows. Let's go back down to here. We are going to knock three arrows and do three at a time. Shadow Sting. The shadow will reach you wherever you go. Yeah, yeah, shadow, 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 whatever. Shadow take you. Night comes. There we go. Let's heal up and keep going then, folks. I'll pick this you. stuff up. Oh, crap. There's more people. Oh, three arrows in him. Huh? Lost him! Alert. Area inaccessible. Elevators non-operational. Stairwells have collapsed. Shadow take you! Oh, another human kill. Alert. H lock structural failure. Repeat. <sighs> or not. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Room's clear. For a moment, anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. <sighs> That's okay. Now that I got this, we're gonna do fine. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like... You probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. 
Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Like Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start some ways. Therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula, by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. All right, we had a video cut off. I just noticed my video stopped like two minutes before. See, there's about a two minute chunk missing. And I apologize for that. That kind of sucks. No, I don't need the text. Thank you very much. We're just gonna go down and shoot everybody. That's what we're gonna do here. That is our goal. I'll collect the updates even though I don't wanna read them. So we'll just do it this way. Bleed for the shot. Move it. Alright, I accidentally got a kill on them with my bow. That's kind of cool. I'll take it. Slippery one. That's the last one. There we go. See? On once more. That worked out really well for me. That should have been a cave of wonders. Look around. See if anything is left. I will. I will. Oh my god. Let us take the gun with us too while we have it. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From Oh, I didn't mean to do that, damn it. But that's okay. I'm not going to try to figure out which data pad that was. We'll just keep going. Okay, folks, I'll see you when we get farther. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Jello is home, so we're playing around him, Welcome working out pretty good. To Hades, Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol, the ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life, 
So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just bump crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine you're Gaia. 200 years from now, and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, a spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl, and better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. <laughs> so welcome to Hades. Welcome. To the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Yes, yes. Once again, just keep searching. I see how you are. Let's make sure we don't need any of these. Okay, just the normal protocols. Um, I guess we're just going to keep going then, folks. We're just going to keep moving around here. Picking up any data points we can while we're moving. Looks like the only way onwards. What is those square things? Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Oh, that's kind of interesting. We're going to just keep going around here, picking up all these little things. Seeing if there's anything of value. It's all data, but text. But it's okay. 
I'm not going to read them, but I want to collect them. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. All right, how are we going to do? Oh, I guess we climb up here. We'll just go on up. Oh, I feel like I'm back at that one place. Let's see. Come on. Come on, hon. Come on. There we go. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not going to put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia. Go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Pharaoh's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. Oh, that's so sad. All right, hopefully I'm still going in the right direction though. I have no idea where I'm going and I'm yawning. Oh my God, yawning. Looks like it used to hold something. benefit from antilopinate so morphologies. Though capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Oh, she feels. How sweet. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth. May I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? Oh. Oh. All right, let's keep going.
I hope my spear never snaps. That would suck. All right, we got a lot of little things in here. Odyssey has failed? What is that? All, some terrible news, I'm afraid. Far Zenith has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed. Last night, telemetry indicated a catastrophic animatic containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system. The ship, its crew, its cargo of zygotes and seeds, its alpha build of Apollo, all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of human species and earthly life. We must succeed. Oh, that's so sad. All right, let's go here. We're gonna do it, aren't we? Oh, I just assumed that was it. Where, where is it? Isn't it here? It looks like it's here. Oh wait, access, I see, press the button. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah, no signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it, go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Uh oh. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. <laughs> Dick. Suitable death in mind for you, child. 